welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> hima loves hima loves uh welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to yet another video with me if you're new here my name is Danielle Moth and welcome i hope you love it enough here to stay and subscribe and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for the continued support and yeah welcome to yet another video with me so today i decided like hmm i'm cooking and i'm like let me share this experience with you i'm trying something new so yeah i was like let me share with my loves maybe they will love to try it themselves as well so today i'm going to be doing stuff button it so i went to checkers and i got this already cut for me cleaned for me so all i gotta do is just you know do the rest so yeah i mean who doesn't love um getting like convenient stuff like this but anyway, you gotta pay the price because I'm sure I could have got one button at four in trend. But because I went to clean, I got it for what? 17 and 80 rand, somewhere around there. So, but anyway, so now I'm gonna turn on my stove and put it at 180 degrees and then start prepping my butternut so I can put it inside the oven so it can start cooking and then I'm gonna move on onto the other stuff as well and then I'm gonna take you guys along with me so might have a little bit of chit chat in between because hi boo copyright guys copyright music but anyway um yeah let's get into it i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it so i hope you're gonna try this so yeah let's get into it Okay, so yeah, excuse the mess because obviously um, I've got all my ingredients ready, so I've already like prepped up everything, and yeah, I just want to just wanted to get everything ready so I can just you know start rolling once I start cooking and not waste any time. So yeah, I love prepping in advance. So I'm just gonna unwrap this and then afterwards I'm gonna wash them. And then I'm gonna give them with some butter or some margarine. So I'm gonna put margarine over the butter and then I'm gonna throw them in the oven for like a good, um, I think 15 to 30 minutes. And yeah, so now let me just wash them. Okay, so now I'm going to use this butter that I just melted um, in the macro oven to just place the button and then put it in the oven so it can cook nicely. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then yeah, guys, um, <laughs> I think uh, ever since I started the channel, um, I've been trying to like, you know, be consistent and trying to upload well i was hoping to upload every week but i've been coming across issues like especially with um the copyright music and then because some days it wouldn't copyright and then all of a sudden it started copywriting i'm like oh god so almost every video you start uploading copyright copyright claim copyright claim so now i had to like you know find a strategy around that because obviously you don't want to operate on copyright uh, videos like all the time one is enough so you don't need a hundred more <laughs> with copyright things so yeah so now um i've just been trying to work around that but at the same time yeah i've been trying to stay consistent and trying uploading every now and then but so far i feel like i'm happy i feel like i'm happy i feel like i've been trying my best guys i've been trying my level best and yeah I'm happy with what we're doing. So obviously I'm also still trying to figure out what I want to do with the channel and overall, but I can, I mean, you can already tell where it's leaning towards self-care vibes, you know, it's all about growth. It's all about, you know, 
investing in ourselves and uh, i like where it's going and yeah I'm, I'm just trying to figure out as we go like you know one step at a time but it won't make sense at the end of the day it won't make sense so we're not in a rush so yeah so i'm done with the button so i'm gonna throw it in the oven but now let me wash my hands first Okay, so now that our butternut are in the oven and I'm gonna cook them for 30 minutes, I think tops 45 minutes until they're soft enough. Um, so yeah, let me just wait for them to cook. Uh, I know I said 15 initially, but I thought like, mm, that's crazy, it won't be ready. So 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So yeah, it's in the oven now. Now we're moving to the next thing. Um, so if you follow me on instagram you would know that i did some stuffed chicken the other day so the spinach that i used uh, was left over so now i want to use the spinach now to also use it in today's stuffed butternut and with mince as well so what we're doing is stuffed butternut with mince and spinach so now i'm just gonna go ahead and cook this in the pan on the stove and wait for the butter to get ready and stuff it when it's ready and then um i'm also gonna do some mince as well and hopefully um tastes good so yeah <clears throat> just gonna go ahead and then um I'm gonna cook this baby i cook this baby spinach yeah so uh, the mix chain here was mayo, it was cheese, and there was some aromat as well. Yeah, I think so. So that was that. So now I'm not going to try and add anything else. So if you like garlic, you can try and add garlic for yourself. But if you don't like it, um, you don't have to add it as well. So yeah. And then I'm also going to do the mince as well. So, okie dokie. So now my spinach is cooking. Uh, let me show you a close-up. So remember I added cheese in here the other day. So now it's looking all cheesy already, you know. Looks delicious already. So I'm just going to add a little bit of milk and then also a little bit of um, cream of mushroom soup and then it will be ready to go and ready to be stuffed into my butternut but I'm loving how it looks already um, it's already cheesy obviously and yeah I love it and then I'm also going to now go ahead and throw in my onions and peppers into the pan so I can start cooking my mince. So, um, I'm going to add some beef stock in here. What? Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to add some beef stock in here. I don't know how you prefer to do it. I just throw it in there and then I let it dissolve in there. And then also some Raja. I use the flavorful and mild to do my mint. So yeah, I'm going to add that in there. Anyway, guys, now I measure with my sister. So, so let's start, let's start, I don't know. You know how it goes, guys. Some of us learned how to cook measuring with our ancestors. So, 
I'm doing exactly just that. Measuring with my sister. So now you can see um, the beef stock is sort of dissolving into the pan as well with the with the peppers and the onions and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and then add the mince. Oopsie daisy. I'm gonna add the mince into this. Oh, by the way, uh, I have added um, my cream of mushroom and milk in the spinach and this is how it's looking now uh don't be like me guys i bent it a little bit because yeah multitasking <laughs> got me got me got me but this is how it's looking and yeah i didn't bend it too much but yeah it's looking good and it's ready to go i'm gonna switch the stove off and go back to the mince so yeah went to checkers got my extra lean beef means and yeah this is looking like oopsie daisy excuse me and then i'm gonna add it into my onions I'm gonna add some ginger. Then going to add some mixed tabs. Mixed tabs. A little bit of cinnamon as well. Then you're gonna add some little bit of ketchup into your mint or paste, whatever that you feel like using. So I use ketchup because um, I usually have ketchup in the house. So, so now I'm mad at myself because I forgot to buy um, what do you call? I forgot to buy my chutney sauce. So you can also add your chutney sauce into this mint and it will make it taste so good so 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 good yeah there you have it guys so we're gonna wait for the butternut to get ready and then we can add this on top of the butternut so i know i said i was gonna chit chat with you guys throughout the entire video while i'm cooking but a hey, amen like a hey, the concentration of cooking took over i forgot about the chit chat look i was just out here focusing on the cooking i was just trying to focus on the cooking you know so i forgot about the chit chat but i guess all i was saying in the beginning is just talking about how i'm trying to you know figure out this whole channel how i'm trying to structure it just taking it a day at a time and just you know 
what do you say just trust in the process you know just trust in the process but uh, i love where it's going and yeah so i thought i should just speak to you guys for a second and tell you that a hey, your girl failed at um Mata tasking between the cooking and the chit-chat so i focused on the cooking and also like you know Mata tasking on um trying to shoot the entire thing so i end up just focusing on cooking and yeah um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed watching me cook i hope you're gonna try out this recipe uh well and don't come for me guys i i'm not a cooking expert i'm not a you know good cook i just try i just try okay i just try i just try to make good meals for myself i just try to try new things and obviously i add tweaks there and there according to my liking according to how i like my things so yeah i hope you guys do try it as well so i'm just chilling here in the balcony just watching my view you know i've got a beautiful view um i'll just show you in a bit as well but it's such a beautiful view and sometimes i just enjoy standing here basking in the sun um just watching the people make noise <laughs> playing soccer in the background um but yeah um all in all i'm just grateful man just grateful i'm also having such a nice wine if you know me if you follow me on instagram if you see you'd know that i'm a white wine person hmm and i'm having a white wine doesn't matter what day where and how trust you go to have a white wine anyway please continue watching and see the end results and i'll see you on the next video i guess i almost said vlog but i was like hmm, no i'll see you on the next video <laughs> okay bye okay so as you can see my butternut is ready it's been cooked to perfection as you can see it's a very very soft and it's easy to scoop out so that's what i'm doing right now i'm scooping some parts of the butternut out and i'm putting it into a container which um i'm gonna put in the fridge and i'm gonna use with some of my meals during the week as i love my butternut so i'm gonna put it in the fridge and use it with some other meals later on in the week but for now i'm taking out that part in the middle so i can create space for the stuffing so that's where i'm gonna put my spinach and my mince as well and then i'll still have the side of the butternut all to myself as well because you know butternut is a starchy vegetable and it fills you up so now i'm gonna use honey so because i love my butternut with some with some with some bit of sweetness so i'm gonna add honey onto the butternut um and just lays it all over the butternut to add that sweetness so usually if i cook it in a pan or in a pot i'd usually add some sugar a little bit of sugar in there so since i baked it i'm just gonna just put a little bit of honey to add that element of sweetness and i'm just gonna rub it all over inside the butternut so i can have that element of sweetness and then after this i'm also gonna pour in some um vegetable spice as well to add that saltiness as well you know i love the contra uh, the contrast of flavors in my meals so i always have a little bit of salty and sweetness or spiciness going on so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and pour that all over the butternut as well and after that i'm gonna pour in my stuffing into the butternut and put on some cheese some mozzarella cheese on top and then put it back in the oven so the cheese can melt nicely onto the butternut so everything here is ready to go ready to eat so all i just need now is just to put the stuff in there and then afterwards put the cheese and put it back in the oven for a minute so it can melt nicely on the on the on the stuff and then after that we're good to go
So here's the finished end product and guys, it looks so beautiful. Um, I can't wait to dig in and taste it. So yeah, let me go ahead and dish up for myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dish up for myself since, you know, the chronicles of staying alone. <laughs> I guess I have leftovers for tomorrow. So this is a finished product and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, dine and eat by myself, pour myself some more wine and yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Thank you, thank you so much for the love. I hope you love this video. I hope you're going to try this out. And I hope to see you next time on this channel. I love you, love you so much. Don't forget that. And yeah, have a great day or evening going further, whatever time you're watching this. And see you again. Bye.